Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. And the roles can be reversed. So let's get into it and see what are the major energies for Scorpio for the first half of June. All right, we have fear and we have abandoned. So it could be that either you or a person that you are involved with um, have a fear of being abandoned at this point in time. So we'll see. It could be you or it could be the other person. And this might be related to having um, felt abandoned or having been abandoned in the past. And it could be that this fear is resurfacing. But let's see. Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the first half of June. So for the situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles crossed by the star. Yeah, so somebody is having a hard time healing their sense of self-worth. I do feel like it is it is a process. It's an ongoing process. Like it is moving in that direction of being healed. But I feel that self-worth is actually what is most important um, at this point in time, either for you or for somebody else. We will see for the recent past, we have the Nine of Swords. For the near future, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so coming from a place of a lot of stress, a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, possibly some pain um, that was dealt with recently, which, and this could be where this fear is coming from or what it is related to. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Nine of Wands. For them, we have the Hermit. More about you is the Four of Swords for them. The King of Wands and potential outcome here is the High Priestess. An extra message for you is the Tower. Okay, Scorpio. All right, things do seem to be moving in a more positive direction. All right, for whatever is going on in this connection, I do see... I do see action, some kind of action coming up here, all right, in the, in the near future. Um, and it all seems to be leading to just really tapping into your intuition and possibly coming into alignment. But we'll see more when we clarify. For you having the Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords, I feel like you feel like you have really been on a journey here with this connection. There has been something that feels very, very challenging and I feel like it's still feeling challenging for you, but whatever that is, you're in the process of healing that. So it could be you who's working on your self-worth. So it might even be um, whoever it is that's working on their self-worth might be the one who also has a fear of abandonment. And I feel like this is something that you are now really beginning to heal within yourself. Um, for them, we have the Hermit and the King of Wands. So I feel like this person might feel a little bit distant. Um, but it's interesting because with the King of Wands, there's also a lot of passion. There's also a lot of action here at the same time. So it's like a combination of being withdrawn, keeping to themselves, maybe disappearing for a little while, and then coming in very, very forcefully. So I feel like it's like two... Um, opposite energies here that somehow play out in this connection. Having the tower as the message for you, we'll see, I might actually clarify that. I don't usually clarify the message, but yeah, we might need to. All right, so let's start clarifying. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles with the start. We have the Nine of Wands again, the Five of Wands, 
the Ace of Cups and the Six of Swords. Okay, so I definitely feel like this is mostly for you. It could also be for the other person. And again, the roles can be reversed anyway. Okay, so just take the messages as they make sense for you. Um, there's, you feel like this has gone on for a long time. There's something here that feels like it's been dragging out. Like I said, there was a lot of pain in the past. You feel like this has just exhausted you and it's gotten you to this point where you do feel conflicted within the situation because there is a lot of love here, okay, with this Ace of Cups. There's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of just really, really positive vibes with this person, even if there has been pain. It's like a combination of everything here. And again, it feels like there is some kind of distancing um, between the two of you. So maybe you're taking some time out or maybe the other person has pulled away a little bit. So it might not even be it, your choice, but I'm definitely seeing you working on this and moving in a direction of healing whatever needs to be healed within your own self when it comes to a fear of abandonment or just feeling um, feeling alone, possibly. So let's clarify the Nine of Wands in your energy. Let's see, the Queen of Cups, so there's your energy right there, the Ten of Wands and the Unknown card, which I'm not surprised because I feel like there have been many times for your reading where we get either the moon or, you know, just a lot of unknown type of energy, which is also actually showing through here with the high priestess. I feel like you're just really tired of not knowing where this is headed. I feel like that is what has worn you out um, because it may be, you know, that this, this connection may have had its ups and downs and that it kind of goes back and forth. You, you may have been getting mixed um, messages. Because I also kind of see that with this Knight of Wands. And it's just gotten you to the point where you're just like, you know what, I'm tired of there being so much love here. I'm feeling the emotions. I'm feeling all of this. And then I still don't know what the hell is going on. And like I said, I feel like this has been going on for a while. So let me clarify the Four of Swords which is also in your energy. The Two of Swords, the Lovers, and the Chariot. So yeah, you know, this is, this is um, a very similar message coming through here. Again, it feels like you're kind of like in the dark as to what is really going on. And I feel like this, this goes back and forth in, in the sense that, you know, just when it feels like it's picking up, and it feels like everything is great. Like you see this movement happening. Things are moving forward. You know, this love is there. Like everything is beautiful. Everything seems to be just moving forward. And then it's like, wait, what just happened? You know, then all of a sudden there's either distance or coldness or just something, just something showing there, which then throws you in this two of swords energy. Like what the hell is going on? And again, it feels like a lot of this is happening because there's a lesson for you in that concerning your self-worth and how to actually um, handle the situation. What is it exactly that you're going to do or what is it that you're doing in order to make sure that you have your, you're holding on to your integrity and your self-respect. And that all comes down to that self, self-worth. And this is what you are healing. And that's why we have the star here. And that's why we also have the four of swords here. Okay. Because you are healing whatever triggers come up from this type of a dynamic. So let's see what is going on with this person. Let's see the hermit. Right, we have yeah the devil the king of pentacles and the page of cups so here's the thing you know normally i i would say very positive things 
about the Hermit, and not that this is negative, not that this is negative, all right, because we do have the King of Pentacles here, but we also do have the Devil as well, which also talks about fear, so it could even be that this person that you're dealing with might be the one who has a fear of abandonment, all right, um, and this could be why they come forward, you know, everything seems to be going great, and then, you know, then they retreat. It's like in and out. They go from being there, like seemingly being able to provide everything, you know, commitment, um, structure, stability, it's all there. Also emotions. The emotions are also there and possibly even the expression of emotions. And then all of a sudden, you know, that fear kicks in, which could be a fear of abandonment for them, and they go into hermit mode. The feelings are definitely there, though. Um, the desire to have something stable is also there. But there's something here that is either serving as a toxic barrier to this, which might be um, influencing them to retreat, or it's that fear that I've been talking about. Okay, because it could be sli something slightly different for each of you. Let's see the King of Wands. Alright, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Hierophant. So there it is again. This person definitely has a lot of passion for you, all right? They feel a lot of passion, and I do feel like they're working on this. I feel like this is a fear that is, or whatever this barrier here is with the devil, it's something that is gradually being destroyed. It's something that is gradually um, being overcome by this person. So again, Here's this commitment. They, they, this person feels a spiritual bond with you. This person, here they are wanting to have um, like a, a reconnection with you after a period of time where they may have been in this hermit mode. All right, but again, here's the thing. It's this in and out behavior, you know, trying to emotionally detach and then coming back, having that passion, that fire all over again, feeling this connection. Um, and I feel like it's just that the cycle that repeats itself. But again, I do see that this person, I feel with this King of Wands here, is beginning to overcome this back and forth. So it might even be that you um, begin to see this in them. You might feel it in their energy. But, you know, again, your lesson here is completely, you know, yours. And it has to do with you. Not just, you know, waiting to see what someone else is going to do and if they're going to resolve their own their own issues. But, I, like I said, I do see them doing that. But let's see. Knight of Wands for the near future. Alright, the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. All right, Scorpio, so here's the thing. I do I do see this person, um, if you are at some kind of a separation at the moment, I do see them coming back in here, okay, as this Knight of Wands. Um, I feel like a little bit of that fear is still there. I do think that it's a little bit more manageable for them this time around, but it's not 100% resolved. There's still certain issues that this person has to deal with in order to fully embody this sense of, okay, you know, I don't need to have this fear anymore. Like I can offer 100% commitment here because this is where, this is where my heart is. This is where my feelings are. I have so much emotions and love for this. So it might still be taking just a little bit of time. Let's clarify the high priestess for the potential outcome. Okay, look at that. The Queen of Wands, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, and the World. Okay, so this is definitely an ending of a cycle. Like, the wheel is turning. And I feel like this 
is all going to come about with you, all right? Because this is mostly about you. You really standing strong in your power here as this Queen of Wands, you know, being very confident, being very assertive. There is no fear. The Queen of Wands has no fear. The Queen of Wands is strong and very, very sure of herself and very, very confident. So I feel like by moving in that direction, what you're doing here is healing your own fears. You are turning that wheel and closing out a cycle of something that has been repeating itself. And this is actually in alignment with your higher self. So does that mean that this person is resolving their fear as well and coming forward? Maybe. Maybe not yet. It's definitely a potential. It's definitely um, something that seems to be possible here. So like I said, I will clarify the tower as well, although I do have a feeling that this is definitely talking about that, that destruction of the fear, basically. All right, the Five of Swords and the Four of Swords. So there's that Four of Swords showing up again. So that's a lot of healing. So yeah, something needs to come crashing down and I do feel that it is a fear. Um, with the Five of Swords, which does talk about betrayal, I feel like this is a fear of betrayal and this is what needs to be healed. And I feel like the message for you is, you know, just to heal within yourself whatever, um, whatever fears you might have or whatever issues of trust might be holding you back from your own self. And even if that's trusting your own self, I'm not saying to just go out and trust random people or you know somebody who has not proven themselves trustworthy. Okay, but healing any wounds from the past that might be related to abandonment that you might still be carrying, this is the message for you. And I do see something, a major change coming up Okay, um, because like I said, I feel like actually this fear of abandonment is on both sides. It just plays out in a different way for you and it plays out in a different way for them. Major cycle closing out here. Definitely, definitely on the horizon. So Scorpio, if this resonated, let's see your final Oracle message. Right? And we have the full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Yeah, which does make sense in this reading, especially having the High Priestess, which is a very spiritual card, as well as the Hierophant, and then also this Queen of Pentacles, which is all about practicality and that self-worth. And also we have the King of Pentacles as well. So yeah, finding that balance between spirituality and practicality. That is happening for you, and I feel like that your person is also moving in that direction as they resolve these fears. So Scorpio, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching, and much love.